Hello, hello. <coughs> Sit with your back straight, hands in the mudra position. I'm audible, right? Anybody, can you show me a thumbs up? Yes, you are audible. Okay. We'll do the <clears throat> starting prayer. So today is a, it's an interactive session, okay? Inhale, take your arms up sideways, join your hands at the top. <laughs> Exhale to center of the heart. Eyes are closed, take inhalation. Oh. Together, Om Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi <coughs> Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Inhale, take your hands straight upwards. Exhale, bring the hand down sideways. Bring your hand sideways down. <coughs> so today's class is interactive session. So we will be discussing all the practice that we are doing in this month, in the month of January, including the loosening practice. We will do together if you want, and we will also address whatever questions or queries you have in mind. And uh, Try to understand what uh, difficulties anybody is facing and suggest uh, improvement areas. Okay, those who are attending the class. So you have to speak out and uh, raise your problems and all. Okay, so we will start with the loosening practices. One second, just turning my system. So for loosening practice, this month, what is the category of loosening practice? It is lying down. Okay, so we will start with lying down position. So just lie down on your mat. If you want to observe, you can observe. If you want to practice, you can practice. Lie down with the uh, Flat back, keep your hands very close to the body. Your palm should be facing the ground. It should not be facing the thigh, uh, no, like how do we stand like that? So let it face the ground. Inhaling, stretch your toes forward. So all the fingers are facing front. Exhaling, point your toes backward. So you can feel your calf muscle is tight in this position. Inhale, front. Point your toe. Exhale, back. Inhale, front. Your toe will be stretching forward. Exhale, back. Your toe will be pointing towards your knee. Inhale, front. I'm explaining. And exhale, back. Now you have to rotate your feet all the side. One. Two. So try to take it every side. Three. So you have to think. Four. Is it going every side? Five. Now, ulta. One. Two. Take it all the side. Three. 
4. Practice along with me if you want. Otherwise, just observe. 5. Okay, 5 plus 5. Now, bend your legs. Both the legs you have to bend. And keep your feet close to the buttocks on the mat. Everything else will remain the same. So you can see the knees are together, thighs are together, legs are together. It's not separated, you know, keeping like loose, loose. Keep them together along with each other. Inhale, straighten your left leg up. When you straighten it, look at my toe. The toe has been pointed upwards, not downwards. Just straighten up. Exhale, bend it. Keep it on the floor. Inhale, right leg. So when you take up, see, observe, the toe is not pointing downwards. It's pointing upward. Exhale, bend it. I'm going very slow. Inhale, left. The toe is pointing up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, right. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, left. Exhale, bend. Keep it on the floor. Inhale, right. And exhale, bend. Now, together we will take both the, straighten both the legs. Inhale, one. So what about the toe? Both the toes are pointing upward. The buttocks will not lift. Buttocks is there only. Exhale, bend. Don't lift your hips. Only you have to straighten your leg. Inhale, two. Exhale, bend. You have to place it. Don't drop it. Inhale, three. Very little effort required. Exhale, bend. Inhale, four. Both the legs are straight. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, five. And exhale, bend. You have to keep your legs there only. Now you have to inhale and spread your arms on the floor and bring them shoulder level. I'm turning because I don't have space there. Otherwise, I will not. Okay. So from this position, I inhale and spread my arms sideways. I hope I'm visible. Exhale, tilt the knees to the left side, but look at your right hand. Inhale, bring it back, look at the sky. Exhale, tilt to the right side, but look at your left hand. Inhale, up, look up. Exhale to the left. Look at the right hand. Inhale, up, look up. Exhale, right, look left. Inhale, up, look up. One more time. Exhale, left, look to the right hand. Inhale, up. <clears throat> Exhale, right, look to the other side. And inhale, up. Exhaling, leg down, hand down. So both the legs come down. Though the hand also comes on the mat. Now, straight leg raising. Inhale, left leg up 90 degree without bending the knee. The other leg should not lift up. Exhale, keep it down. Inhale, right leg up. Without bending the knee, both the knees. Exhale, keep it down. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. One more time we will do. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Both the toes are pointing, okay? Inhale, right. And exhale, down. Now, both the legs together. Inhale, one. So did anything change? Nothing. Only the leg position came up. That's all. Exhale, down. Together. So one second. Before that, we have to keep the hands, arms over your head. So keep the arms over your head for that. Inhale, two. Both the legs lifted up. Exhale, down. If your arms are down, please take it over your head. Inhale, three. Keep your legs straight together and pointing. Exhale, down. 
Inhale, four. Keep the leg straight, knee straight. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, five. Now you have to stay here for some time. Not natural breathing. One. So you have to look at the toe. The toe is pointing up, correct? Two. In the other position. Keep the legs uh, straight. Three. Keep them together also. There should not be any gap between the legs. Four. Don't hold your breath. Five. <clears throat> How much time? Ten numbers. You have to count. Six. I'm going very slow. Hold the position. Seven. You can feel a uh, tightness coming on your abdomen. Eight. It's correct only. It's good for strengthening the core muscles. Nine. Because you're connecting, taking the weight of your leg with your back and stomach. Ten. Exhale slowly. Slowly you're going down. Along with the exhalation. Okay. Before that, one thing we missed: the bicycle crunches. So I will, we will do it now. So keep your hands down with an exhalation. Keep your legs together, hands close to your body, but facing the ground. Then your toes are pointing front. Inhale, raise both the legs 30 degree above the ground. Okay, lift it up. Exhale, bend your left leg, catch it, and try to touch it on the left knee. So the other leg is in the air. ठीक है ये लेफ्ट लेग को पकड़ के चिन ऑन द नी कर दिया चेंज राइट लेग कीजिए तो लेफ्ट लेग की जगह लेफ्ट लेग हवा में चेंज लेफ्ट लेग चिन ऑन द नी चेंज राइट लेग रिलीज लेफ्ट लेग रिलीज राइट लेग रिलीज लेफ्ट लेग रिलीज राइट लेग One more. Release. Left leg. Release and catch your right leg. So what is the left leg doing? Left leg is in the air. And right leg, chin is on the knee. Inhale, head down, left leg down. Did you get me? Head down, left leg down with an inhalation. On the exhalation, release the right leg like that. That's the process. Okay. Now. Inhale. Take the right arm over your head. Bend your left leg. So left leg is a light mountain. Exhale. Turn to the ground. And lie down on your stomach. After lying down, keep your palm by the side of your chest. So your elbow should be above the wrist. Legs are together. Palm should be turned backwards. Inhale. Lift your chest in the air. Now pushing the floor. Gradually lift it up. Exhale from down. Ensure that your elbow is not going lower than the belly. Inhale two. Lift up again. Exhale down. So we are actually improving the back arch. Inhale three. Arch your back. Exhale down. Inhaling. Four. Oh. Exhaling. Down. Last one. Inhaling. Five. Now stay there for some time. One. Two. Open up your shoulder. Three. Arch your back. Four. Five. Exhale. Go down. Inhale. Stand up on the knees and hands. Cat position. Okay. Now exhale. You can turn forward. Turn front. You are like a cat. Okay. Here, what should you do? You have to keep your knees a little gap. Your feet also a little gap. So, what about the toe? The toe should not be pointing back. You have to point it front. Okay. Front pointing toes. Just a second. I have to turn my camera a little. I'm audible, no, uh, Chetna. Okay, yes. so I'm in a cat position. Okay, now we will be doing what? Marjiri asana. Inhale, stretch the left arm front, right leg back. 
So front and back stretch like that. Lift it up. Exhale, elbow touch the knee. Okay, same elbow, same knee. Inhale, two. Stretch again. Exhale, four. Inhale, three. Front and back stretch your arm and leg. Exhale, four. Inhale, four. It will heat up the body. Exhale, four. One more time. Inhale, five. Now stay there. One, two. Look at your hand. Three, four, five. Exhale, elbow touch the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale to cat position. Anybody is on unmute? Uh, who is on unmute? One second. One second. Just a second. Can anybody speak so that I can hear you? One second. We can hear you, sir. Yeah, we can hear you. One second. I'm not able to hear anybody. One second. Let me change the system. Now, please, anybody? Yeah. We can hear you, sir. Can you speak, anybody? Yeah, no, we, can we can hear you. you. We can hear you. Okay, okay, fine. Thank you. Now, we'll do the other side. Right hand, left leg. Inhale, right hand stretch, left hand also, left leg also. Exhale, fold. Inhale, two. So lift your arm and legs. In my position, I'm lifting, pointing my toe. Exhale, fold. Inhale, three. Stretch front and back. Exhale, four. So there will be weight on the other hand. I really can feel it. Inhale, four. Lift your arm and leg nice and long. Exhale, four. <coughs> One more time. Inhale, five. Now stay here for a while. One, two, look at the hand. Three, four, five. Exhale, elbow touch your knee. One, two, stay for a while. Two, look at that knee. Four, which is touching elbow. Five. Inhale, come to cat position. And exhale, sit in Vajrasana. So, of you, sit in Vajrasana. Okay. Okay, now sit with your back straight. We'll be doing the arm loosening. Bring the arms in front, parallel to the ground. Fist close, spread the finger. Close, spread. Close, spread. Close, spread. One more. Close, spread. Palm down, only palm. Up, down, up, down, <clears throat> up, down, up. One more time. Down. Up, fist close, kijiye, wrist rotation. One, two, it's very simple. Three, four, five. Ulta One, two, three. There will be tightness on the shoulder. Four, five. Hands on shoulder directly. Don't drop your hand. Straighten your arms then. Fold, straight. Fold, straight. Fold, straight. One more. Fold, Straight. Fold it, touch your elbows in front. Shoulder rotate. One. So it inhale when it goes up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now ulta. One. Two. Let it cross the height. Three, you can see my elbow is crossing my head. Four. One more round. Five. After that, interlock your finger in front of your body. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. 
So you can see when you stretch, your elbow should not be like this. Elbow should go straight and it will lengthen your back. Good. One, try to straighten your back. Gent normal breadth is enough. Two, that's good. Three, look front. My camera is a little up, so it, it may seem like I'm looking down, but I'm not. Four, I fixed the camera a little elevated. Lock your awareness. Five. When you exhale, bring down, bring the hand sideway down. Don't lose the straightness of your back. So the back doesn't change, only the arms comes down. So if you see in this position, how straight your back is, this is how you should sit. When you're sitting in Vajrasana or no, that way. So one simple check is, if you stretch your arms to the sky and lengthen your back, whatever position the chest and the back comes, that's the position when you sit erect, you should be in that. Like that. Okay. Now inhaling, sit to quickly side right jaye. Maybe left side, right side. Exhaling, release the legs in front of you. Any direction is fine. I'm turning so that I'm visible to you. Okay. Shake your legs. Put your head back gently. Relax your head towards the back side. Shake your legs. After some time, you, you can stop shaking and put your chin down on the chest. Now we will do neck rotation. <clears throat> so I start from the chest, the first round. Inhale, take your head back. Exhale, bring it on the chest. Inhale, I'm taking it backwards, then sideways. Exhale to the chest. Three. So I should synchronize my breath. Four. You should feel nice. It's good, good on your neck. Five. Now let me change. One. Pura, piche, side me. Very well. Two. Rotate along with the breath. Three. Achha, circle bana yega. Very good. Four. Focus. Where it is traveling. Five. That's good. So five plus five rounds completed. Now we will do sit straight. We will do we did not do forward folding, you know, or warm-up, but we did not do. So we have to do that. Sit straight. So keep your back erect and arms uh, side of the body. Legs and everything straight. Inhale, take your hands up sideways. Bring it long. So lengthen your body first. Now exhale, then forward. Whatever possible at this moment and try to touch the toe first. Now inhale, sit up again. Take your hands up and point your toe. Exhale down and try to catch the top of the toe. Catch the top initially. Inhale three. Sit up, hands up, point your toe. Exhale down. Catch the outer edge of your feet. So like this. Did you see me? I'm not catching the top now. I'm catching the side. It's okay if you're not able to catch. If you can start here, here, you can lengthen it like that. That's also fine. Inhale four. Sit up, hands up. Exhale down. Try to reach your heels, whatever possible. Or touch your heels. Then inhale five. Sit up, hands up, and exhale down. Where we are supposed to catch your heels and stay ideally, but wherever you could reach, just stay there. One, try to see your own pose. Don't put your head down initially. <clears throat> Two, angle my elbow will bend <clears throat> because I'm pulling the body, no? So I'm trying to reach long, so my elbow will bend. Three, because I'm trying to bring the body forward, killing my front, uh, body to the front. So, last moment you can put your head down like this. Where you are just about the neck. Five. Now inhale, sit up, take your hands to the sky, lengthen your back, point your toe, exhale, bring the hands down, sideways. Okay? So, any clarification? Relax, all of you. Any any clarity you want uh, regarding listening practice, I can. If you observe, we have done all the joints and muscles. See, so you started with the toe, ankle, yeah, yeah, 
then we did the knee by straightening the legs bending it okay then we did the twisting by tilting the knee this side tilting the knee that side then we did, did the lifting of the legs then we prepared back arch after turning to the ground correct by doing a cobra breath then we did, did that marjari asana hand leg stretching front and back then we came to arm loosening like wrist elbow shoulder neck then we did uh, forward warm up forward forward bending right so it covers almost everything required for as a warm up exercise almost everything so any questions otherwise we go to the chandra namaskar which is the next stage okay so we go to the next one from to standing position so we'll do at least let's say four rounds of chandra namaskar then we'll go to the asana practice any time if i'm not audible or not clear you can ask me okay be free nothing to worry just feel free and speak if you speak both of us will benefit including me i will also benefit now let us do the uh, starting prayer for chandra namaskar so inhale take your hands up sideway join your hands at the top without looking up exhale to center of the heart eyes are closed take inhalation o together ಹಿರಣ್ಮಯನ ಪಾತ್ರೇನ ಸತ್ಯಸೂಷನ್ನ ಪಾವೃಣೋ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮಯ ದೃಷ್ಟ open your eyes exhale look at your nose okay you can put your hands down i will explain about the breathing then we can do the uh, other uh, this one let me switch on the original sound okay okay am i audible neha okay fine good so what is the change of the breath going to happen now all the breath has to be ujjayi sound <coughs> so let us practice ujjayi sound you can put your hands down let us take a few breaths like this so i'm going to inhale i will try to make my sound audible so that you should be able to practice it you can put your hands down two three breaths we will take first the reason is we have to be clear on the breath i'm making a <coughs> inhalation now i'm closing my eyes observe the inhalation sound is it audible pallav my inhalation okay now i'm going to exhale good so you could hear the sound of my in breath out there let me do it again all of you take a few breaths like this inhale now exhale one more time let's do it inhale exhale so you can practice this uh when you are free now i i think i remember pallar telling me that he will practice in the evening no when he is relaxing in the evening whatever at that time he will practice this at home so practice this all all people try to it will help us to calm 
our own nervous system, including for me, if I just sit in a quiet place, close my eyes and take maybe 5 minutes enough, just maybe 5 to 10 times, just inhale and exhale, slow down your inhalation, slow down and as, as long as you can take an inhalation, take it and slowly exhale, equalize both, don't take short in breath and long out breath, not required, you have to make it equal timing, okay. So now onwards, all our breaths should have that sound, okay? That nice rhythmic uh, ocean sound. The breath will be that. So it's not now, clear. It's not audible enough. Okay, the sound is not audible, or my my uh, words are not audible There's now. There's some uh, background uh, noise. I don't know if it's uh, happening with everyone. Is there, with there, any, is there sure, but there's some like construction or I don't know some uh, sound. Okay. Is it there for others? Ma, uh, Muttu, yes, yes, it's there for me as well. There's some construction work, there's mixy running, something, some kind of a noise okay. like that is coming. Okay, I think there is a... Um, yeah, one second. Some Maybe it's... A, the, is it a little better now or is it the same? I think it's the same, but we can hear you loud. We may not be able to hear your breath, but we can hear you. Was it better earlier? No, 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 it's same. It's not changed. One second, one second. Let me change my mic and see. Uh... Hello, hello. Now it is better actually. So I think maybe yes. it is something much, related much to the technical. Is it issue. better now? Yes. It's wonderful. Okay, maybe I think it was a different uh, mic which I had taken, I mean, selected. Is it, is it clear what I'm talking now? Yes, yeah, sir. Clear enough. Clear enough. Louder yeah. now. Uh, you, you want me to speak a little more louder, is it? Yeah. Hello, hello. How do I share? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Is it the same or uh, can you can anybody confirm whether it's better? We got you back the same old hissing noise. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can hear you, but throughout the recording, we'll hear the hissing as well. That's the whole issue. Mm, okay, one second. So when you started, uh, this, this kind of noise was not there, I think. When I started, it was not there. Okay. I think this is related to one of your mics only. Sir. Yeah, I have two mics. But we can hear you. It's not very clear. Now see, I have another mic. I'm not sure why is it having this kind of issue. Uh, hello, 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 hello. I think it's the same problem. I may log out and log in once, I think. Hello, hello, hello. Is this better? Yeah. Or is it the same? No, this no, is no, better. It's not there. Okay, which means there is some humming sound coming from this mic. Right? But uh, if, when I go away, I may not be very clear. Okay, so you might have to bear with me then, right? Okay. okay. I'm using the system mic, so... Sir, we can adjust with that beep sound, not a problem. Okay, that was better. Uh, since you said that when you do, we cannot hear you. Yeah, uh, maybe, you know. I'll do one thing, I'll just log out and log in. Uh, Muthu, can you give me the host control once I do it? Sure. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure whether it's in my prob mic problem or the no network issues. Can I log out and log in once and then you tell me whether it's okay? Sure, okay. Not sure if it will hamper the recording. Yeah, it uh, may go out. Is that beep, uh, that humming sound, uh, one second. 
Is that uh, mic sound? Uh, same problem came again now? Yes, yes. Yeah, same problem came again. Hello, hello. What about this? This no, is the mic sound the is there, but we can hear you clearly. Uh, that's not an issue. But the entire recording, you will have that humming noise. Okay. What about this? Is this clear better or the same? The, no, the beep same. is sound there is there, but we can hear you. Okay. Okay. I'll use this so that uh, I don't get disconnected. Okay. Yes, Let sir. That sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll do the uh, Chandra Namaskara now. Sit, stand straight. Hands in the arm mudra. Sorry, hands in Namaskar mudra. <clears throat> uh, my breath may not be very clear because I'll be talking. So I'll not be able to breathe well, unlike you. Okay, Ekam. Inhale, stretch your arms up and bend back with an inhalation. Dui. Exhale, bend forward. Try to reach your body close to the legs. Trini. Left leg back. Take a good step. Don't take half step. Keep the knee down. Inhale, take your hands up. Try to make a back bend. Chatwari, exhale, bring the hands down. So when you keep it, bring your hands down, let the chin be straight. Don't allow the chin to go down like this. Let the chin be forward. Pancha, as of now your fingertips are on the floor. Pancha, keep the full palm, inhale and take the second leg. And go very slow. So you are now in a plank position, correct? Shut, exhale, keep your knee, keep your chin and chest on the floor. Like that. Satta, lift your chest with an inhalation. Lift your upper body. Ashta, exhale, lift your back. Like a mountain position. Nava, bring the left foot between your hands, okay? And your right knee will be down on the floor. Inhale, chin up. So try to bring your chin up and take your arms up sideways. Try to make a back arch. Exhale. Bring the hands down and walk forward. So all that is one exhale. Ekadasha, inhale, stand up, stretch your hands to the back. Duadasha, exhale to the maskar. So how many steps are there? 12 steps. Now let me do it again. We will do at least 4 rounds. Ekam, inhale, stretch your arms, bend back. Dui. Exhale, bend forward. Reach the body down, close to the legs. Three knee, right leg back. Take a good step, keep the knee down. Inhale, hands up sideways. Try to arch your back. Chatwai. Exhale, hands down. So fingertips on the floor. Chin should be facing front. Don't keep the chin down. Pancha. Inhale. Now you can see my head. My head is not going to change much. See from here, I take the leg back without changing the head much. See the head is there only. Correct? It came to plan. Shut, exhale down. Knee, chin, chest. Sarata, change your feet. Lift your upper body. Open up your shoulder and chin and chest. Ashta. Exhale, lift your back. Mountain position. Nava, bring the right foot between your hands. Keep the left knee down. Inhale, hands up, look at your thumbs. You have to take a C shape. Dasha. Exhale, your hands down, walk forward. Bend the body. Eka Dasha. Inhale, stand up, stretch your hands back. Dua Dasha. Exhale. Round number three. Here you come. Inhale, hands up, bend back. Dui. Exhale, bend forward. Deeply into the legs. Trini. Left leg back. Inhale, hands up. Side way. Chatwari. Exhale, hands down. Chin straight. Don't keep your chin down now. Inhaling, take the second. Keeping the head there. Shut exhale. How many of you can do Chaturanga? Try to do a low plank. Everything in the air. Sapta. Change your feet. Lift your upper body. 
ಕಷ್ಟ ಎಕ್ಸೇ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಯು ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮೂವ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಫುಟ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡಿ ಡೌನ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ ದಶ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮೀ ಏಕಾದಶ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೆನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಕಂ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಯು ನೋಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಲಿ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಚತುರಂಗ ಸಪ್ತ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಚೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ನವ ರೈಟ್ ಫುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ದಶ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಏಕಾದಶ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೆನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಪ್ Exhale, bring the hands down. Yeah, just a second. We'll come to the questions. One minute. It's not connecting at all. we don't see your video hello hello is it audible am i am i, am I visible no sir audible but not visible what about now visible yes what about the audio is it uh, same old sound no it is it is good okay fine now, uh let us this uh, discuss any questions on chandra namaskara that we did anybody i have two questions what? um one is like you know as we uh, like you uh, know in in the normal surya namaskars you know we have this mantra chanting yeah and during that you know we have an opportunity to take a breath but here like you know we do not have and uh, so what happens is like after sixth round it is becoming i do not know if that is the reason but it is becoming really exhausting so we are not able to at least i am not able to keep up to the your beat so okay. but you tell that it is always you have to listen to your body yeah so i rush up but i'm getting comments from you during the practice saying that i'm i'm fast so mm-hmm. now what should i do during that and how to increase this uh, the breath control uh, as like you know 
can i prolong this uh, breath control beyond uh, six rounds mm-hmm. so see that i think uh, the, uh, it, uh, if you see the chandra namaskara there are actually 14 rounds in chandra namaskar okay but then we little more exhaustive for people and there are 14 mantras actually if you see there are 14 mantras and 14 uh, uh, rounds so and those mantras are very long you know and very confusing generally people don't use those mantras during chandra namaskar that's why we skip during uh, the read them and uh, yeah are we allowed to take a breath in between it's okay see if you feel it's difficult you see when you reach here no this is ekadasha dwadasha exhale so we don't get much gap here right we directly go to the next round in case you are getting a little extra time there it's okay you can take an additional breath there's nothing wrong in doing that take a breath there and you know pick up the next round after that breath you can do that just be aware that if possible gradually we have to you know breathe like a flow you know try to it's okay to take an additional breath if you find it tough what about others uh, anybody uh, like say uh, pallav kanchana neha all people are there what about you i have a question so this is pallav here right yeah, yeah. Uh, chandra namaskar i am little lost in the breathing pattern or order in which the breathing has to be taken particularly say when you do step complete step 2 you have already breathed out right uh, step 1 is breathe in step 2 is breathe out but after step 2 you're taking your left foot backward or right foot backward then there you put your knee down and then you arch your hand from the side to go up right and that's when you're breathing again out then hold and then breathe in yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, can you hear me hello yes yes i can hear you yeah Uh, see if you see uh, the timing prescribed during this uh, uh, practice is the first inhalation is about i think 4 seconds when you inhale you take your hands back this way like mm-hmm. now next exhalation is a little longer because the travel is also long so is that action is then longer sir yeah you are beat also but your beat is still yeah, beat is also longer beat is also longer you can see uh, if you want i can uh, play that now see i'll play the chandra namaskar you can i'm just going to play that so it's as per the prescriptions only so i'll just play you can observe the difference in time i'll do it along can you do it along with the timer if you want you can observe me or you want you can do it along with the timer okay i'm going to start let <laughs> some of you observe how what is the time taken for you know uh, bending back how much is the time for for bending forward how much is the time that is given to take the leg back and hands up so there are changes in the time you can observe that okay i didn't know that okay thank you welcome do Pancha. Shat. Satta. Ashta. Nava. Dasha. Ekadasha. the other shot so it goes like that if you see the first step is 4 seconds this uh, step now the next step is 5 seconds bending forward it's 5 seconds because it's a longer step similarly the next step is 5 so keeping the leg back taking the hands up is all in 5 second inhalation Oh, okay. So that's inhaling from the time you're taking the step. Yeah. But you have right. to inhale right from the time you take your legs back, right? Yeah, from that moment itself. The moment you mm-hmm. take leg back and start taking the hands, all that is should be one inhalation. Now keeping the hands down is shorter. So if you see the timing will be less. Yeah, just four. Yeah. 
Yeah, like that. So again, and then, then all those two steps are four seconds. Now, going to mountain is a longer exhalation. Then in the, uh, bringing the leg forward and taking the hands up. That is again five seconds. Then the where I lose my breath, uh, sir. Uh, the second uh, Anjana as, as, asana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, you feel exhausted. Hmm. It is a little more of experience only. With that, you should be able to get that. <laughs> Got it. And yeah. one more thing, sir. Like you know, how should we like the, the during the Anjana asana when we the one leg is back and the other leg is in the front, right? Should yeah. Should that be ninety degrees or should it be inclined? Yeah, no. Uh, so the shin should be perpendicular. That's the rule. See, when you take, for example, I'm going to take my left leg back. Okay, I'm here. Inhaling. When you take this leg back, take it a good step. So you take it short, then your knee will go front. You can see the knee is protruding. If you take it long, then it will become like this. Your shin will become inclined to the back. So it should not incline front, neither incline back like this. So with experience, you should find a place where your this shin bone, no, this is the shin bone. This is perpendicular. It's okay if your thigh is going down. That's not the thing. So keeping the shin perpendicular, keeping the leg here. When you take your arm back, you can see the shin is perpendicular. This shin bone, thigh. Yeah, try to keep this shin perpendicular. And when you, you can feel when I bend back. I'm feeling a weight on, on my back foot here. Not much on this knee, neither on this foot. I take the back, weight towards the back. You saw that nakshatra was doing like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exhale, hands down. So this shin should be, this is the rule of uh, even Ashwa Sanchalan Asana. In Surya Namaskara, we do that horse riding posture. Right? There also this shin, so some people do it this way. Oh, that is wrong. You should not take the knee forward. You, should, you have to keep this knee uh, leg backward. That way. Yeah. Anything else? Anybody wanted to ask? Is there Kanchana? Is there Puja, Chetana, Mamta, Neha? These are the people, correct? Anybody else? Shilin is there? Yeah, Shilin. Uh, uh, Rahul, yeah, Muttu and um, Sri Lata. Okay. Yeah. So now we will do what is the last two rounds? Which what is what do we do? Uh, uh, this one. Hashtanga Surya Namaskar. Correct. Let's do that. Come to standing position. You can mute. Some people are on un unmute. You can mute it. So here, now all the hand movements will be sideways. It will not be front and up because we are not going to bend back. In Ashtang Surya Namaskara, it's a linear stretch, not a back bend while you are standing. Samastiti. Ekam. Inhale, take your arms up sideways, join your hands at the top. So try to uh, lengthen your arm, arm and back to the sky. Do it. Exhale, bend forward, bringing the hands sideways. At side side, okay? Try to bring your body close to the legs. Stomach touches. See, don't try to touch the head like this. See, if you do this, it's not correct. So instead of that, keep your head a little up and try to bring stomach. See, now in my case, where is the bend? It's coming from somewhere here. So this is, I have been trying to tell most classes. When you bend forward, some people are looking downwards, don't do it. So look front. So take the arm sideways, but look front. See my chin, chin front. Did you see that? Like that. Chin is not down. Chin is front. Exhale. I think Muthu knows it. Muthu has implemented that. So you can see the back is flat when it's coming. See my back. It's flat. It's not like here. Keep your back flat when you bend. Don't bring the arm down, head down. Keep the chin forward, hand sideways, exhale. Even if your head doesn't touch the leg, it's fine. 
but let the stomach touch the thigh. That's the first part of a forward bend. So this is the second step. Now, three will be head up. Now look at my back here. How did I? Is it uh, convex or concave? Anybody? What is the shape of the back? Concave. Ah, who is that, Divya? Pooja. Pooja. See now you can see it's a slight concave is there. Now let me show you convex. Did you see the convex? Now now this is convex back. This is concave back. So this is what I wanted to get. So when you bend completely forward, maybe the little convex will be there, but we will keep as flat as possible. This is step number one. Sorry, two. Now when you come to step number three, if you want to lift your fingers off the floor, it's fine. Ideally, the finger will be on the floor. But if you want, if you're not able to make a concave back with that, this is fine. Bring the head up. So many people don't do this step. They skip this step. They will just do this. No, it does. It neither there. No, you have to extend your your body up. I mean, that concave back has to come. You try to get this step because when you do this concave, your forward bend will improve. Okay, so do it. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Head up. Concave. Chaturangi. Step back. Bend the leg. Exhale. Go down. All in one exhale. Chincha. Inhale. Lift your chin chest together. Look at my chin chest. Then head separate. Shut. Exhale. Lift your back. <clears throat> Now stay here. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. See, I'm increasing the duration now. Exhale. Three. Now let me take longer inhalation. Observe how I delay now. Inhale. Longer. Exhale. Same lungs. I will increase the duration. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Five. Look between your hands. Before you step forward, you have to look between your hands. Look between your hands. Step forward. Inhale and head up. So all that is one inhalation. Okay. Step forward. Inhale. Head up. So automatically the concave comes. People forget that concave. Exhale. Chin to shin. Stand up. Pull. Thigh. Move. Inhale. Stand up. Hands up. Sideways. Look at your thumb. Exhale. Hands down. Sideways. Okay, now let's do once again. Last round. Ashtanga A. Everybody, everybody. Huh? Unless you have some uh, heavy lunch, uh, tea and all. Let's all together do together. Okay, I'll not explain much. Let's do. A come in here. Look at your thumb. B. Exhale. Bend the body. B. Inhale. Concave back. I want the implementation in the class. Chat to Ari. Step back. Exhale. Go down. Tancha. Inhale. Cobra pose. Or Urdu Mukha. Shut. Exhale. Lift your back. Five breath. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two, 
three. Four, one more breath. Five. Sapta, step forward, both the legs, inhale, head up. One key back. Ashta exhale, chin on the knee. Nova, inhale, stand up, hands up, side way. Look at your thumb. Samasthiti, exhale. Any, any doubts on uh, Ashtanga Surya Namaskara, which we did just now? What is the difference between this Surya Namaskara and uh, Chandra Namaskara? Anybody? Any differences you can tell me? Okay, the main difference is, I hope you can hear me, uh, anybody, uh, Chetna, thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, uh, main difference is, there is a static practice also in this. So, you are staying in the mountain position and breathing, correct? So, that is the difference. So, there is a place where you hold the uh, posture and breathe, five breaths, that's one difference. The second difference is that, all the arm movements are sideways. So all the hand moves sideways and when you are standing there is no bending backwards. So this this is a type of Surya Namaskara which comes in Ashtanga Vinyasa kind of <coughs> Surya Namaskara which is connected with the you know, uh, Patavi Joys all that. So from there this Surya Namaskara comes. It is practiced world over A and B Surya Namaskara. Now <coughs> we will go to Asana practices. I am not focusing much on the eye rotation and you know, Udhyan Bandha Agni Sarakriya because we are doing that every month. Okay, now we will go to Trikonasana, Parivarta Trikonasana practice. So come on the left side of your mat. You should be having on your right side mat should be available for you. Okay. Samasthiti. Feet together, hands tight. Ekam. <coughs> right leg out three feet with an inhalation and, and catch your waist. So approximately three feet step has to be taken. Do Exhale. Turn your right foot to the right and look over the shoulder. So the body does not turn. Body udari hai. Thus head turn ho gaya. Right leg turn ho gaya pura. Jo left leg hai, that Look at my left leg, it was like this. So your left leg also turns a little, but not to the extent of, extent of your right leg. You got me? Left leg, it, it may, will not be pointing the same where it was in the beginning. That also turns slightly. And you have to look over the shoulder. Three knee. Inhale, take your hands up and bring it parallel to the floor. Front and back, straight and parallel. And now, exhaling, bend the body sideways without bending the knees. So where is the hand going to reach? It will reach behind this leg on the floor. Okay, so it will not be on the leg, it will be behind the leg. Look at the hand with an inhalation, look at the hand which is on the top with an inhalation. <coughs> now exhale. Try to make it more side bending. Inhale. Look at your hand which is at the top. Exhale. Try to stay with leg straight and arm straight. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. On, when you finish that exhale, you should look down. Just when you are about to finish. You have to look down. Now inhale, stand up and look at the hand which comes up parallel to the floor. The right hand. Exhale, turn your foot and look forward. Now inhale, turn the other foot to the left and look at the hand. Which hand? Now left hand. On the exhalation, bend the body sideways 
bring the hand behind the leg. Same asana on this side. Okay. It will take two breaths. I am not going to stay there much because it will be a repetition. Now, finish the last exhalation here. Look down. Inhale, stand up. Look at your left hand. Exhale, turn forward. Inhale, turn to the right side again. So, you should align your heel to heel. So, your right heel and left heel will be in one line. Okay? And now, we have to twist the body. So, your left hand is going to come to the right leg. Exhale, windmill the arms like a windmill. Place the left foot hand on the back side of your right foot like that. And look at the upper hand. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Look down. So when your exhale finishes, you have to look down. Now inhale, stand up, untwist your body, look at the right hand which comes in front. Exhale, turn. Inhale, turn to the left, turn your foot, the back foot also slightly, not fully. On the exhalation, twist. Windmill the arms, right hand goes behind the left. Start inhaling. One. Let's take one more breath. Two, look down. Inhale, stand up. Wind in the arms. Look at your left hand which comes up. Exhale, turn your feet. Turn your drishti. Inhale and catch your waist. Exhale, turn and jump. Come to standing position facing the front of the mat. So any doubts on Trikona, Parivar Trikona, anybody? No doubts. So let me tell one or two important points of this. One is what I told. Try to turn your back foot also. So if, it, if you are stepping three foot like this, when you turn the right foot, don't keep the left foot in the the original position. Turn your back foot also slightly so that your bending will be better and your balance will be better. Then uh, windmilling the arms. So try to don't do like this. Try to windmill. Make a make a you know that rotatory action of the hand like this. That will improve your twisting capability. Then uh, yeah try to push the floor. So this is not a resting point. I think I will put a video on that. It should not be like uh, putting the hand and resting on this hand and keeping the other hand in there. No. If, if, if you remove this hand, you, you should not fall down. You have to push this hand. You are supposed to push this hand on the floor and keep the other hand up. Like that. This hand is for pushing down, not for resting. Even if I, if I remove this hand, still I, I should be able to stay there. Like that. Done. Now, facing forward, Natarajasana, Samasthiti, feet together, hands tight. Starting with left leg. Even inhale, bend your left leg back, catch the toe, right hand goes up. So how do you catch the toe? Look at the way I am I'm catching. See, this way. You can see here. So I catch from the inner, inner edge of the toe, inner edge. I don't catch the top or the ankle, I catch from the inner toe like this and I hook the toe with the thumb like that. So that's inhalation. While well, exhaling this is an important point, you are not supposed to lean. Like you just have to bring the hand down and take the leg up, that's all. So did I lean much? I did not. So I am trying to minimize the front lean, it should not be like this. So your chest is also kept high, the leg is also kept high like that. Here you come. Do it. That way. Balance.
One more. Two. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, hand down, leg down. Other side. Inhale, right leg bend. Left hand up. Balance. Exhale, left hand front, right leg up. One. Without much leaning. Two. One more time. Maximum lift up. Now inhale, stand up. Exhale, hand down, leg down. Now sit in Vajrasana. Okay, so what was the asana we did? That's called Nataraj Asana, Dancing Shiva Posture. Any clarity on any of the asanas we did till, till now? If not, sit in Vajrasana. Prepare for Parigasana. Pariga means gate or handle. The asana is a, it's a side stretch asana. It is uh, similar to you remember standing Ardha Kati Chakrasana is there. It's a similar effect, this asana. Pariga. Ekam. Inhale, stand up on the knees and catch the waist. So by this time itself, look at my toe. It's better to keep your toes like this. Instead of sleeping toe, try to keep it standing toe. It'll, what is the benefit? You will get a little more strength and your kneecap will, will not pain much. So, like that. Here you come. This is inhalation and taking the kneeling position. Do you exhale, take your left leg to the left. Now here, when you take the leg, ensure that the other thigh is perpendicular. So if you take this much, gone. Now you see my right thigh has got inclined. That should not be done. Keep your leg only to the extent that this thigh is perpendicular. Do we? Exhalation. Three knee, inhale, open your hands. Bring them parallel to each other. Chatwari, exhale, bend to the right, sorry, bend to the left, catch that ankle and right arm on the ear. So exhale. Try to make a side bend. One. You should get a pull on the side. Two. Three. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, catch the waist. Inhale, walk your left leg inside. Exhale, take the right leg out. Don't take too much. Keep this thigh perpendicular. Look at the feet. The feet is not in the air like this. Feet is grounded towards the front. It should not be lifted in the air. Three knee, inhale, open your hands. Chatwari, exhale to the right. Make maximum side bending. Keep sliding sideway. Keep the elbow straight. Look forward. Keep the arm and the ear together. Then maximum give a nice stretch. Now inhale up. Open your hands. Exhale catch. Your waist. Inhale walk. Then exhale sit. Vajrasana. So what is that asana called? Perigasana handle posture. Now inhale, sit to one side. Exhale, release the legs in front. 
So any doubt or till now, whatever we discussed, you can ask. Otherwise, we go to the sitting asanas. Okay. So now sit straight, hands in. Uh, just relax a little. We are going to do Baddha Kona Asana, Meru Danda Asana, Virasana, Supta Virasana, Bharadvaja Asana and Akarna Dhanura Asana. Samasthiti. Keep your legs straight, back straight, hands straight. Everything sit erect. So there is an effort required to sit straight always. Keep your chest up, shoulders wide, back straight, point your toes, hands by the side of your hips and straight. Don't keep your hands behind front of your hips or bending, stooping, all that is wrong. Here you come, inhale, fold your legs to the groin. Start doing butterfly. Keep flapping your thigh. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Keep flapping. Exhale. Two. Now again inhale everybody. Now just you have to, you have to bend forward. Exhale, don't bend too much. Start exhaling and go little, maybe half away. Half away. So where is the chin? Chin front. Look at my chin. I am taking the chin forward, not, not downward like this. Chin is front. Okay. So where is my hand? My elbow is pushing the groin, not the calf muscle, neither the middle of the thigh. It has to be inside the groin. You have to press from the root here. The spread has to come from here. It's okay if you want to keep a little sideways and push it, that's fine, it's okay. But it should not be taken outwards, outside your, uh, in front of the calf muscles or outside your thigh. Your ha elbow has to be on the thigh, wherever you, you're able to push it properly and drishti forward, okay? One breath is only over. Now inhale again. Exhale, little more down. You can get two. Inhale. Extend your body a little more forward. Exhale. Three. You have to keep on opening, okay? Inhale. Lock your inners. Exhale. Four. Even now I am looking forward. Last one, inhale. Pull your feet, your feet should be facing the chest. And exhale. Try to touch your chin. Now inhale, sit up. By this time when you come up, your thigh should be flat. See, I have pushed it and made it flat. So even if my elbow is not there, my thighs are touching the floor. Thighs and calf, both. My heel is as much as possible into the groin. And you can see the feet. Your feet is, my feet is open to the chest. It's not closed. So this is closed feet. Look at the feet. This is closed. I have opened it. I have opened it. Okay? Exhaling, hook the first finger. First finger you to catch. I don't have much space. Okay? Now inhaling, I have to open my legs in front. Look. Till only you are inclined. You should not lean back much. Little for the balancing purpose. And then open the legs sideways and in front. Like this. See, I did not lean. See, did I lean? No. You can see. I have many... See, we opened it and opened it. From here, I am taking, keeping the weight in front. And little only I adjust my weight to the back. And then I, I open my legs into a V-shape in front like this. Actually, it's an innovation. Exhale, take the balance. Inhale, look up. One. Knee straight. Try to balance on the sick bone. Two.
three. Now exhale, fold your legs. See with the balance and see I, I can stop your elbows. Stop your elbows slowly. See the weight is on the sit bone. Bring it to the groin. Exhalation. Now inhale, release the legs in front. Exhale, sit straight. Now inhale, fold both the legs to the left side. Move the legs left. Exhale, sit Vajrasana. Okay, now inhale. I hope you can hear my breath. Exhale. One. Now inhaling, take left heel outside the buttocks. Usko maine bahar nikal diya. Exhaling, dusra bhi, right side bhi nikal diya. And see, you can, you can see my feet. My feet is at the back and I sit between them. See, my toes are pointing back. And I, this way. You can see my left toe here. Right toe here. I am sitting between the feet. Okay, how many of you are able to sit there? Panchana, Shilin, Muttu, Neha, Chetna, Tanmay Kikar hai? Tanmay to Sarkas kar raha hai bich mein. Who else is there? Dikta hai nge, Tanmay kuch table hai nge dikha raha hai. So this is called hero posture, Veerasana. Sitting between the feet, buttocks on the floor. Now inhale here. Exhale, lay back on elbow. See, I am looking front. I am not looking back. Now inhale again. Looking front. Now completely lie down with an exhalation. Fully lie down. And then inhale, take the arms over your head. That is called sleeping hero posture. Exhale. So your knees are completely twisted towards the back. Inhale. One. Two. One more breath. Three. Exhale, hands down. Bring the hands and catch your ankles. Now inhale, sit up. Kaise I have come to Virasana. Exhale. Inhale, Vajrasana. Exhale. Inhale, sit to the left side of your buttocks, of your feet. So your feet should be on the right. And exhale, release the legs in front. Sit straight. Okay? Relax. Hands back. Any clarification on what we did? Baddha Konasan, Meiru Dandasan and Sutta Virasan, Sleeping Hero Posture. These are the three asanas we did. Pallav is there? Maybe he is disconnected. Okay. Now we will go to Bharadvajasana. Samasthiti. Here we come. Inhale, fold both the legs to the left side. And make a plus sign. See here, see my leg here. I have to keep this shin bone on this foot like this. So you can see a plus here, no? Like this. You can see a plus? Like this? Yeah. This is one one uh, line of the plus and the other foot is the other line. So make a plus sign here like this. That's one characteristic of Bharadvajas. On the exhalation, twist your body to the right side. So your leg goes here, body goes there. So the right hand goes back, your left hand will go below the right knee like this. Like out from below and it's from the outer side, not in front. And you to bulge your chest and look back with that exhalation. You can I can show I'll show you this side. I'm doing like this. Go to here. Your knees are in front. Knees will not go back. Only the body goes back. See my chest here? See that bulge? Like that. So you can feel, I, I can feel a stretch on this side of the body. Like that. Inhale. 
exhale maximum twist now inhale remove your twist and look forward exhale release the legs in front of you inhale fold your legs to the right side right side mein fold kijiye dono pair ghutna samne nahi rahega ghutna will not go back ghutna will be in front exhale twist your body to the other side i will show from this side ट्विस्ट योर बॉडी वन मोर ब्रेथ गुड नाउ इनहेल लुक फॉरवर्ड रिलीज योर हैंड्स ऑन द एक्सेल बोथ द लेक्स रिलीज तू समझती थी दैट्स कॉल्ड भरद्वज आसना नव अकर्ण धनुरासना एड अ पॉस्टर एक हम इनहेल टेक योर आर्म्स अप साइड वे दू एक्सेल देन फॉरवर्ड एंड कैच द फर्स्ट फिंगर इट्स ओके इफ यू वांट टू स्लाइटली बेंड देनी एंड कैच इट ओके बट वेन यू पुल ट्राई टू स्ट्रेट ऑन दी द लेग व्हिच इज ऑन द फ्रंट नाउ इनहेलिंग पुल द लेफ्ट लेग बैक लिफ्ट इट टू द ईयर पुल इट अप Inhale, pull a little more. Pull it back. Try to bring it to the level of the ear. Now try to touch it on the ear. Exhale. Release it. Inhale, pull the right leg back and lift it up. Exhale. Inhale. Pull the buttock. Exhale. Inhale. Bring it to the ear. <coughs> One more. Touch it on the ear. Exhale. चतुआई पंचा इनहेल सेटअप टेक यू हैंड्स अप शट एक्सेल हैंड्स डाउन टू समस्ती रिलैक्स हैंड्स बैक शेक योर लेग्स यू फिनिश्ड ऑल द सिटिंग आस नास नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू लाइन डाउन वी हैव गॉट ओनली आई थिंक अबाउट 15 मिनट्स सर वन डाउट ऑन द सुप्त वीरासना या व्हेन वी व्हेन वी लाइ डाउन शुड बी लाइ ऑन आवर क्राउन ऑफ द हेड और लाइक Should we put our entire back on the floor? Yeah, in ideal uh, asana, the complete back rests on the floor. In ideal situation, but many people you may not be able to lie down completely because it may either hurt your back or hurt your ankle sometimes. Either of that, there may be a little difficulty. So once you're here, do the exhalation. I inhale here. Now either I can put my head back like this. Which is relatively easy, or after staying for a little time, after this time, I can like that, like this. In ideal situation, the back comes completely on the floor. This is the correct supta virasa. Then your arm goes up. So the sleeping hero posture, the full back, except a little space on the lower back, which will be like a arch, little arch will be there. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else in the sitting? Or now let us speak about specific asanas that anybody has question in the mind. Specific questions. Now we last fifteen twenty minutes we'll address. Any anything specifically specific you want to speak? I will explain that. So I think there is nothing specific. So then I will go go ahead with two more asanas. One is Sarvang asana, and then we will do Setu Bandha and Chakra asana. Then we will speak about your uh, uh, Pranayama little. Okay. 
సమస్థితి లైదాం విడు సర్వాంగాసన్ ఇన్ హి సో సో దట్ యువర్ ప్రాక్టీస్ దోస్ యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ఎ లిటిల్ హోల్సమ్ ఇన్ హెల్ టేక్ యువర్ ఆర్స్ ఓవర్ యువర్ హెడ్ ఎక్సేల్ పాయింట్ యువర్ టోస్ ఇన్ హెల్ లెగ్స్ ఆర్ నైంటీ together see then when you take together then only the strength will come if you take one by one like this see some people take like this it's not correct and some people take like this that means they are not using their back neither the stomach for lifting these are all shortcuts so try to take it straight and up from here take it straight up with the breath now exhale hands down when you go up also ideally the leg does in bent from the same leg position it goes up with inhalation like that inversion 1 2 Exhale, return the hips on mat. Slowly using the hand support. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, keep the legs down. Move the legs. Now inhale, bend your legs. Keep it away from each other. We are bypassing those two, three asanas. Exhale, bring the hands down. catch your ankles firm and good okay so you have to reach keep your uh, legs as close as possible towards the hip side then catch it okay then you can position it properly now inhale lift your hips in the air <coughs> exhale look at the nose one Exhale, change your hand. Side of the ears on the mat. Inhale, rise Chakrasana. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. one more exhale come down inhale release the legs exhale hands down inhale bend both the legs catch it Exhale, chin on the knee. Inhale. Catch your elbow. One. Two. Inhale, head down. Exhale, hand down, leg down. Inhale, right arm over your head, left leg bend. Exhale, turn right. Inhale, sit up. Exhale. Okay, all of you sitting position. Anything, any doubts on Sarvanga or uh, asanas we did? Setu Gandha asana, Chakra asana. Now, 
what are the pranayamas one pranayama is chanting that is the om chanting like au ma is there no that is the first pranayama it's called nada anusandhana pranayama sound based so every class you should practice one sound based pranayama then one opening pranayama which is kapalabhati or bhastrika then one holding pranayama prolonged inhalation and exhalation and with holding that is anuloma that which we are doing this month when you do omkar or nada anusandhana pranayama it should be equal a u ma should be equal okay let's all do it together take an inhalation this we are doing in lying down position okay we are just doing in sitting let's do it once again <coughs> in here uh, one more time three times we'll do inhale uh now some of you you will, you may not be able to tell this uh, this much long you know the reason it is nothing related to your lung capacity the problem is in your inhalation your inhalation was not full that's the reason <clears throat> so try to take good inhalation before you chant so like this take inhale uh seen if your inhalation was good definitely the length of your om will also be good so focus on good in breath before chanting okay all this om chanting is very good for calming the nerves also very good for the lungs you can see you know the vibration it brings on the here on your throat on your face all these vibrations will help us to breathe better and better then next is kapala bhati abdominal breathing pranayama So let's do that. Few rounds. Take inhalation. What is the characteristic? When you are exhaling, the stomach under jayega. Baki sab kuch move nahi hoga. Take in breath. Start the abdominal strokes. So if you want, you can keep your one hand. on the stomach if you want so you can feel that going off in and out again do it inhale start when you exhalation your stomach goes in you can see in my picture i'm not pushing with my hand you have my hand goes in automatically because the stomach is going in again inhale relax we'll do five times 16 strokes and again five times what are the common mistakes in kapalbhati so some people do ulta like when you are inhaling the stomach goes in that is wrong like it's not possible only for me so they they do ulta because of confusion in the mind only mind problem it is not correct It is, it is not natural also it is ulta so never do that ensure that your stomach is going in while exhalation that's important like this and in between each exhalation there is one inhalation wo bhi yaad rakhna har exhale ke beech mein ek inhalation hoga aur har exhale mein pet andar jaye that is the characteristic now another wrong practice is deep inhale deep in exhale no. that is also wrong like this
बाकी सब कुछ करेक्ट है लेकिन डेप्थ ऑफ इनहेल एक्सेल बहुत लंबा हो जाता है दैट इज नॉट कपाल भाती इन कपाल भाती द फोकस इज ऑन द दो स्ट्रोक्स नॉट ऑन द डेप्थ ऑफ योर इन ब्रेथ आउट ब्रेथ लाइक दिस The breath is shallow. In Kapal Bhati, breath is shallow. It's not deep. So don't do this. That's also a mistake. Okay. So that is Kapal Bhati. Kapal means skull. Bhati means shine. So improves the blood circulation, improves the oxygen saturation, improves the glow on the face. Apna chhere ka glow acha ho jata hai in uh, Kapal Bhati pranayam. Now. Next is Anuloma Pranayam. Okay. You can see uh, Tanmay. You are not able to sit only. Pehle you have to learn to sit without doing unwanted things. Otherwise no yoga for you. Pehle aap sikho barabat baitne ke liye. Without sitting you cannot practice yoga. See so many things I am telling you are not listening. You are stretching, you are going, you are sitting, lying. What all things you, are, you only don't know. Stop all that unwanted things in the class. If you are attending the class, attend properly. Otherwise don't attend. Even if one person is there, I am happy. But that person should be attending the, with uh, mind. Without mind, don't come to the class. Now, what is that? Anuloma. Anulom pranayam. Inhalation hoga ujjayi. Exhalation hoga with the finger. Okay? So like this. So inhale, keep your eyes closed, chin down. Inhale with the throat. Like that. Hold your breath, bring your right hand on the nose. Exhale, right side. Hold your breath, stomach in, hand down. Again. Inhale is over, lock it, bring the hand, exhale left, keep your hand down, stomach in, relax, so that is called Anuloma Pranayama. Where inhalation is done with throat control, exhalation is done with finger control. Okay, I think we are already running short of time. So, any other queries you have, you can always message me. I will reply you definitely. I will re read all the messages. Okay, I hope the session was helpful to you. At least few points, one or two points you have learned. That's also enough for us. Okay, so I will have to go to the 5:45 class. So, Namaste. Thanks for coming to the class. Thanks for attending. <coughs> Thanks for asking the questions. I appreciate all of that. Okay. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Pooja.